guys, welcome to my talk show, Raising Greatness, where I interview you guests to find out what led them down their path to success. I'm your host, Nicholas Fulwama. today has been making moves in the music industry for many years now, producing hits for some of your favorite artists like Sierra, Snoop Dogg, Ludacris, Tony Braxton, Cash Money, and the list goes on. I'm excited to announce my guest, the very talented Vanguard Award winner, the one and only Jazzy Faye. Welcome to my show, Mr. Jazzy. I couldn't Thank you, sir. Well, I couldn't wait to interview you because all of your interviews I've watched, you're so happy. Well, what makes you happy? What makes me so happy is um, the fact that I get a chance to wake up and do exactly what I want to do every day, and I get paid for it. Hmm. And I think I'm, I'm just a grateful, I'm a grateful person. I, I'm, a, um, I'm a lover of God. I, uh, I love my family. And with that, um, with all those things happening, I can get, you know, I make my own schedule so I can see my kids and everybody whenever I want to see them. And I still get my work done. Hmm. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> well, I've interviewed a TV producer, but you're a music producer. What is it like to be a music producer? Um, being a music producer, is kind of like um, being a uh, a football coach almost. <laughs> it's it's like you know um, I come in and I I arrange everything. I think mean, everything has a position, but I, I put things in in order to make everyone in the general public love it. Hmm. That sounds like like. An awesome job. Yeah, it is. Well, what instruments do you play? Um, I'm not really a, a great player of music. I, I I play I play the keys a little bit. I play the drums a little bit. I just everything I do, I do it kind of like a little bit, and I always have people around me that play better than me. So it's almost like uh, Quincy Jones, even though he was more musical than me. It's like um, I I'm a uh, I delegate people, I, so I hire them to you know play the keys, or sometimes I play them myself. It just depends on the song. Hmm. Hmm. So that's that sounds that sounds pretty cool. So you sing, you rap, and create music. What yep. do you enjoy doing the most? Um. I think I enjoy just actually the whole the whole creation of the music, the whole you know thought of you know uh, doing everything all at once. It's like I don't really have a I can't separate one thing and say that this is my favorite thing to do. It's like on Monday, I, my favorite thing might have been producing. On Tuesday, my favorite thing might have been singing, and the next day might have been my favorite thing might have been rapping. So it's like, really, it's the whole enchilada. Hmm. So it's like everything is your favorite on different. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. So you, you've worked with several artists. Who have you enjoyed working with the most? Um, well, I think me, uh, myself, I think I enjoyed working with Aaliyah, who she passed away a while ago. Um, but she she was like, Aaliyah was was one of my favorite people to work with. She was just a magical, a magical artist. She was, um, and uh, I was already a big fan of her, her work. But working with her, it was just like, you know, meeting an old friend in the studio to have fun and talk about life. Hmm. Hmm. So, uh, you you used the line "ladies and gentlemen" in a lot of your um in a lot of your songs. So mm -hmm. what made you come up with that? Well, I mean, I, I felt like okay when I walked in, when I walked in the booth, 
people always wanted my voice on records because I used to always talk on records. And I was like, okay, what is a way to bring a person onto the song? Like bring a, bringing a, uh, um, uh, a person to the stage. So it was always like, okay, ladies and gentlemen, see, era, I could, you know what I'm saying? I could do it like that. I could bring them on. And, and that was it. It's like, it's one of those things to make me stop talking because I might talk too much. So if I say, ladies and gentlemen, see era, they know it's her turn. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's funny. Who would you say is the biggest influence like, to get you to where you are today? My biggest influence, hmm, that's a good question. Probably uh, my, my father, my father and my mother, my, my parents. Hmm, your parents? Well, my, parents my, my parents were both in the music business uh, and I was always around music at an early age and in studios and working behind the scenes at an early age. So I pretty much, I knew I like, at your age, I was I was in the studio with greats. I, I, I met Michael Jackson at your age when I was your age. Wow. So so like those those type of moments, um, I held me forever, and and then now I'm living them. Hmm. So that that sounds amazing. And like you met Michael Jackson at my age. That's that's. Mm -hmm. And something that we have in common is that our parents both um, support us. My parents support me and your parents support you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. And now I turn, I, my, my, I do great. Um, I, I've done great for myself. And now I can turn around and support my parents again. So it's a, it's a, it's, it's a complete circle now. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. So your family is a very musically in inclined like family. So for Christmas, do you guys like play the piano and sing any Christmas carols? Carols? Yeah. Uh yeah, we, we sing Christmas carols. Um we don't really necessarily sit around a piano. We like to sing a cappella, like with nothing, like just just sing all this like cause we have so many songs. So nobody can really play all of the songs that we know. So we just, we just, as we come up with songs, we sing them, um, or if we want to hear songs, we go to YouTube and we play them. And, you know, um, or, or we watch old videos or whatever. It's like, it, 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 like there's no end to songs. Once one song ends up being a hundred songs. <laughs> now that's funny. Yeah. So what advice would you give a young person who wanted to become a music producer? Um, I think uh, one of the most per one of, uh, most important things about um, getting to know the uh, uh, you know the music business is you know of course you know finding out what what you love if you like making beats if you if you like uh, rapping or singing or or doing whatever um, I think the most important thing a youngster can do is learn you know the business or be around somebody who knows the business or even pick up some books that talk about the business, you know, so they can have an early jump on what the business is like and what it's about and the twists and turns that happen in the music business, because music is the fun part. The business is the not so fun part. You know what I mean? So that's the part where, you know, all of the, all of the other folks, the, the industry, um, uh, what I call them, the, the powers that be, the ones that, that are executives, the, the, it, the executives, that's where they go in and they, um, they do their part. So being young, you have to grow up and be an executive as well. I think that's the most important way to come in. I, I think that's great. Th thank you. Mm -hmm. Well, what what are you working on right now that you can tell us about? Um, right now I'm working on A on Teo. Working on A on Teo. I'm working on um, Bruno Mars. Uh, working on um, Megan Thee Stallion. Um, Rick Ross. 
uh, K. Michelle, uh, a young lady by the name of Klondike. You sound busy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm busy. I'm working on a lot of things at once. And a lot of new artists that you probably never heard of. And I don't know if you heard of those, but, you know, I, I work with a lot of people all the time. I work with somebody new um, or somebody different almost every day. Wow. So I could just I could just name people all day long. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. You got to do it one time. It's one 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 at a time, though. One at a time. Yes. Since I love finding new words, can you leave me with your favorite word? My favorite word? Yes. Well, my favorite word is really not a word. It's like a phrase. And it's, oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. I think, oh, boy, has been around since I was a baby. Um, it's, there's something about, you know, um, saying, oh, boy, is like, it just wraps everything up at once, saying, oh, like, like, how was your day? Oh, boy. Like, <laughs> or, it, oh, boy, it could be good or bad. You know what I'm saying? But for me, most of the time, fortunately, it's good. Yeah, I, I believe that. Well, yeah. Thanks for being a guest on my show. And to everyone else, thank you for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye. Thanks, man. To keep up to date with all of Jesse Face projects, follow him on social media. Thank you for watching this episode of Raising Greatness. And thank you for helping me to make my show a success. Stay tuned for more great episodes. See you next time.